Recording in progress. So, welcome to Tones for Your Bones, the Earth edition. Um, we're going to do an introduction of ourselves and what's Tones for Your Bones and the message that we'd like to relay for this Earth path. So, I am Lilan Siang Weiss. Um, my license is a lic licensed acupuncturist and I'm a steward of Armonia Health and a co-creator of Tones for Your Bones. And I'm Alex Weiss, one of the other co-creators of Tones for Your Bones, multi-instrumentalist and composer. And I'm Arthur Link, one of the collaborators for Tones for Your Bones. <laughs> she done sure. So, what is Tones for Your Bones for those of you that it's new to? Uh, let's see, how did you come out with that name? I think I told you I wanted something that conveyed the, the depth of Chinese <coughs> philosophy and Chinese medicine and included music. Yeah, so the, so <laughs> the, I guess bones, I think of bones as the essence of things. So I wanted to capture the es essence of our collaboration. And tones as of sound, yeah? yeah? And I'm remembering that the character for medicine, yes, the character for medicine in Chinese includes the radical of sound in there. So I found that really interesting because um, I, I guess it might translate as vibration in English, but in Chinese, it, to me, I read it as sound. And then I made the connection with music. I was like, perfect. So that's how the name came about. And it is to bring the aspects of the philosophy of the five elements, the five uh, phases, or I'm calling the five paths of that are core to um, the Chinese medicine, Chinese philosophy. They're a Taoist approach. And um, they are many associations to each path. And so we try to bring that into um, the creatively through music, through the teaching of Qigong and acupressure and through meditations, all to be able to eas easily embody uh, the associations of each path. And at the same time, for those of you that are already familiar, um, you can deepen um, in them to uh, live with them, uh, learn from them, uh, embody them, and they, my experience is that they keep giving and giving of their wisdom. And so that's what we like to share with you. So, um, this... Amen. <laughs> So Earth, um, the message we'd like to bring to you, our appreciative audience, is um, what I'd like to share of the Earth Path is the returning to home, um, which to me involves my body and where my heart is, um, because my family is, is not, my birth family hasn't been with me for like 20 some years, so I always know like my home is where, where my heart is, and so I'm always returning home to myself, and and then community um, is part of the earth path, um, and that has been very important to me too because uh, no family, so I have uh, adopted families and a lot of children. Realize. That's another story, <laughs> and then gratitude. Um, gratitude, a lot of gratitude. So that's my message for the Earth Path. Well, I like celebrating the diversity of the Earth. I really have enjoyed, over the past 50 some odd years, traveling all around the Earth. I mean, I started out just hitchhiking across this country, going through just about every state. And I enjoy the, the, you know, the, the rolling hills of Missouri, I like the deserts and the mountains. I like the ocean to a certain point. <laughs> but not the sand. Not the sand, but the water's great. 
So it's really, the, I, I like the variety of the earth throughout this world, really. All the different characteristics, the forests, the empty spaces, the lush tropical way. It's all, to me, about celebrating the diversity of the earth. And also, at this point in my, in my life, I'm, I'm glad I'm still above it and it's six feet in it. Amen. Right. <laughs> it, it is Sunday. <laughs> yeah, but I'm Jewish. Right, and I'm not. <laughs> but hey, seven is a good number, right? Yeah. <laughs> How about you? Your message? My message. Oh, right. I'm very, uh, well, I'm very new to this whole earth path. I'm in the earth phase of my life now. And everything prior to that was me doing the best I could to not have earth in my life, to not have you know, stability or consistency or any of these qualities that seem so cumbersome. Um, but now that life has kind of placed me somewhere to establish a center, I'm starting to appreciate how those things that you wouldn't be able to have unless you had a longevity at a place. You know, like I renewed a lease. That was my big earth accomplishment. Mm -hmm. I actually renewed a lease for once. And I found Leilan and I found all these great things here in Durham that I would never have found because if I had just lived here a year and then moved on, I would have never had the depth that just really s staying central to a place and, and, and rooting down with the earth uh, element and path uh, offers. So I'm starting to appreciate this more now. Yeah, and you'll hear... Um us um, talking on other sections of Tones for Bones, how Earth is a return from all the other paths, too. It's also, it's like the center that Link was talking about. Um, yeah, the center. Care to share about your shirts? My shirt. Mm -hmm. Why is Earth? You picked it for Earth. Yellow. <laughs> <laughs> now, I don't have many <laughs> yellow shirts, but I do have Brazilian heritage, which has provided me with my access to yellow, mm -hmm. so uh, that color. And if you notice, um, maybe you should talk about the Chinese world too, not me, but you know, they have that color. Yes. It's very prominent. <laughs> yellow is the color for Earth, and it's your family. My family. So, so they are my Earth, and I have made them my Earth for a long time. Mm -hmm. So now I'm committing more to showing up as a part of it. The family. As a part of the family, instead of the wayward son. <laughs> All right, anything else you'd like to add? Well, the earth is always there for us. If you, if you fall, the earth catches you. <laughs> the ocean, too? Yeah. <laughs> to some extent. Yeah. So we'll be, um, yeah, we'll be sharing more about all those relationships. So there you have it for our introduction. Any questions? No? Questions? 